Hey guys, it's Mike Quayle here from the Quayle Group Real Estate Advisors at Remax Advantage. Today, we are going to cover the six unexpected costs when selling your home and moving up to a larger home. Hey guys, remember there's two really cool tools that we have here right on the page. Number one is our home value estimate, which is instant. Just put your information in, it'll give you a value back. And then number two, if you're searching for homes, um, you can click on the search for homes button and it'll show you all the homes available in Massachusetts. Selling your home, you can run into a lot of unexpected costs and unexpected chores. So what we wanna do right now is give you six key things to focus on so you can be on budget and on time. Number one, first, get pre-approved. You want to get an updated pre-approval with all of today's rates and terms included. That way, you truly know what your buying power is and what you'll be paying per month. Number two, you want to estimate what it's going to cost to sell your home. You want to look at your realtor fees. You want to look at your attorney fees, um, any inspection costs you may have to incur. You want to look at all of those um, contractor fees. If you have to do any significant repairs to the house, add up all those costs and make sure you could afford to make this move. Number three, determine what it'll cost to acquire your new home. You have to look at all the expenses from your down payment to your home inspection costs, to your title costs, to your home insurance costs, all the way down to your moving costs. You want to add up all those and make sure you've set enough money aside. Number four, calculate the proceeds you'll have from your current home that you're selling. Make sure the proceeds that you have will cover the cost of acquiring your new home. And if they do not, just make sure you have enough money to bring to the table to cover the difference. Number five, complete the repairs on your home. Unless you plan on selling the home as a fixed or upper, you do need to complete necessary repairs. If you don't have the home in operable condition, you're just going to get less interest, less offers, and ultimately, less money. Number six, get the house ready to show prospective buyers. You want to get the house totally clean. You want to declutter. You want to have it smelling fresh. You want to have the curb appeal looking as good as possible. All right, guys, those are the six unexpected costs and chores you may have when moving up to a larger home. We hope you found those useful. We'll do more videos in the future. Reach out to us if you guys have any questions whatsoever. And remember, leave the sale to quail. Have a great day, guys. See ya.